And next on Tech for Techs, Phil goes cherry picking and gets all excited about little shiny things as he gently wraps his hand around it. Stay tuned for this and more on Tech for Techs. Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Tech here. Today we're going to be looking at this product from Cherry. It's an MC9620 FPS corded gaming mouse and it's got a retail price of around about £79.99 and we do have links in the description just below. Before we go on to the main video, if you would do us a favour, click that like button, subscribe, click the bell as well. And that way you'll get notifications of new videos and live streams we do. Again, doing all these things helps support the channel and helping to support the channel allows us to release more videos, better quality videos and more content exclusively just for you. Okay, as you can see, we have got the Cherry MC9620 FPS. I'm guessing the FPS stands for First Person Shooter, maybe model, something along that lines. It's nice to see that they've actually got the model number and the brand on the front, usually Cherry products like this one here. It doesn't actually say what the brand is on the front or the model number. So, and also the packaging looks a bit nicer being that black, it looks a lot more gamey and stylish. Would still like a few little bullet points on the front, maybe saying stuff about A is it RG be or not um, that it's got weights included or not as well as the DPI it would be nice to have that on the front maybe just in small little bullet points or something along that lines also on the front it does have a door so you can open it up it tells you more information about the mouse here again it's long paragraphs most people don't have time to read all this information they just want straight to the point bullet points of what it is so a little bit more Design work done on the box might be uh, a good idea, but otherwise it's a lot better than the standard white boxes they normally do. You've got the mouse here, you can actually see it does have plastic coating over it, so you can't feel exactly what it's like, but it gives you a rough idea, and it tells you about it being designed uh, by Cherry in Germany as well on there. On the back of the box, it's a lot of writing to be honest, it's uh, uh, got Dutch on there, English and a few other language on, uh, languages on there and it does tell you a few bits of information but it is quite small to see. On this side here, it does give you a barcode on the side, tells you the model number, it does tell you it's got a PixArt 3360 sensor which would be nice to tell you on the front because that is a big selling point. Pixar, if you're not sure, sensors are sort of like your top of the line sensors, what you have in your top end products, and this is one of those. And on this side, it just shows you what it looks like from another angle. Okay, so it's a flexible, customizable gaming mouse with nine buttons. You've got a DPI of up to 12,000 DPI on there. It's obviously a black mouse. You do have weights as well. So if you include the weights, it's 145 grams. Without the weights, it's 130 grams. So it's adjustable depending on how you want it. The cable length is approximately two meters long, uh, so that's pretty good, and it's USB, so you just plug in and away you go, and it supports Windows 7 and above. It comes with three five gram weights, so that means that there is 15 grams worth of weights there, which obviously you can adjust at five gram intervals depending on what you prefer. Uh, otherwise, the mouse is 128 by 68 0.5 by 39.5 millimeters which is uh, a pretty good decent size mouse reliability is over 100,000 clicks of scrolling wheel and over 20 million clicks of the mouse buttons so that's pretty good to be honest with you and again this has got nine buttons and a dpi up to 12,000 dpi Okay, so let's start with what's in the box. Let's start with the least important. So first of all, we got information about the warranty here, which no one's probably going to read. You've also got a manual here. Six pages of it are roughly in English. It does tell you about the software you can download, about how to change RGB effects and macros and all your different things like that in there. 
Otherwise, the first thing we noticed as soon as we took the mouse out of the box is this big warning here with some really small red writing on it, which basically says, make sure you press this button down here when adjusting the palm rest. And we'll show you exactly how to do that in a few seconds. And on top of that, there's a couple of pieces of plastic. Um, can't really get away uh, around with the plastic, unfortunately, if they're gonna have a, a window on the front, so. Obviously the plastic they've used is what's been necessary for the box, but the manuals and stuff would be nice to see a QR code which people can scan on their website or scan to get onto their website which gives them the manual and the software and all your different information about the warranty. Saves the environment, saves them money, and also they can update the manual and the warranty information whenever they want uh, to give people the latest information. So it gives you a rough idea. So let's have a closer look at the mouse itself. Okay, as you can see, we've got the mouse here. It's all plugged in. One of the things you may notice straight away is there's a little laser on the back of the mouse which projects the Cherry logo or name onto your mouse pad or your table or whatever. Depending on the surf, it'll be look a, a little bit more pronounced than others. Uh, different colors, obviously different lighting in the room will affect that. You do have RGB on the Cherry logo on the top as well, as well as on the wheel there. There is some white on the side here, but that's for DPI set into my knowledge. You can't change the color of that, but it will adjust how many lights are lit up depending on the DPI setting you have it on and the DPI will go all the way up to 1200 DPI that's when you've got all three lights lit there. You can change the RGB effects from the software as well as set macros up and stuff like that we'll go a bit more into that in a few minutes but you can change all this even the laser on the back there to a different color if you prefer so if you want it pink, red, green, yellow you can have it like that. So one thing to note is this back end or the palm rest here is adjustable. One of the warnings on the box did say make sure you press this button down here. So the way you do it, you don't actually press it down that way, you sort of more press and pull up at the same time. And that allows you to adjust this back end here back and forth to adjust to fit your palm. So depending on how big hands you got like me, I've got big hands, you can have it on a really uh, large setting. If you've got small hands, you can then press it down again and push it in and then it makes it into a smaller mouse, which is pretty good. Another thing you can do on this mouse is take the bottom off. There's no clips or anything. It just pulls off. It's magnetic, which believe it or not, has got little weights inside as well, which you can take out and adjust. So you've got three weights, five grams each. So obviously that adjusts the weight by up to 15 grams either way, depending on how you want it. I think it's between 130 and 145 grams total. So that's pretty good. You do have four glide pads on the bottom. The ones on the front do have little bits of plastic on just to protect them. So you can take those off. There you go. The ones on the back don't seem to have any on them. No, they don't. Uh, this has got one of those Pixar sensors, as we said, so it's a really good sensor. And as we said, 1200 DPI, so sorry, 12,000 DPI. So it's very high DPI rated. Button wise, you've got your left button. You've also got a right button, you've got your wheel as well, which is also a button. You've got two DPI buttons, which again, all these you can program apart from the left mouse button. And you've also got the DPI button on the top there. On this side, there is no buttons, but you do have a nice rubberized grip there. So if you're wanting to hold it with your pinky finger or however you want to put it, uh, it will grip there very nicely. And on this side, you do have another two buttons here, ideal for forward and back generally on the internet. Then you do have another button there as well, which is usually like a quick fire button or however you want to set it up on your computer. And again, this area is rubberized as well, so it's ideal for gripping. So if you've got sweaty hands or it's really, really hot and you're sweating like a God knows what, then you'll be able to grip onto this mouse with no problem, which is pretty good. Also, it's more of a matte than a gloss, which means it's not gonna be uh, um, 
get fingerprint marks and so forth as easily on it. There are one or two little glossy bits here and there, but nothing what should really show up too much dirt. But overall, you've got a pretty nice mouse, which has got all the settings on it you'll need, all the buttons you'll need for pretty much most things. You can adjust the weight, you can adjust the palm rest, so it should fit multiple different people. So if obviously two people use your computer, let's say husband and wife, uh, one's got a large hand, one's got a small hand, or parent, toddler, well probably not toddler but child, you can adjust it depending on the person playing. Okay we're doing a quick sound test, this is a microphone here so we're testing the sound from there to there which is roughly around about 10 to 15 centimeters as I move it around. First we're going to check the left mouse button and the right mouse button and the wheel Then the DPI buttons, the Cherry logo button, the home and backwards button or forwards and backwards button, and then you go, I'm guessing a quick fire button or whatever you want that button to be. There you go, so that gives you a rough idea. So it's pretty quiet, the, probably the loudest buttons are the forwards and the backwards buttons. Uh, the wheel's okay, uh, the left and right are okay, the DPI's okay, the quick fire button on the side, that seems to be pretty quiet, can't really hear that at all. So overall, very happy with the sound levels. Thank you for watching this video everyone, it's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.